Hey guys, check it out. Yes, this was what the KV-1S used to look like back in patch 8.11. This is when I, st I think this is when I started playing, or at least close to when I started playing. And the graphics right now are on minimum. So you have that authentic chems experience because that's how I used to play the game. In fact, let's go into graphics and have a look. Yep, everything's low or minimum. So let's just, for the sake of the video, set everything to maximum. Oh, there we go. That's more like it. This kind of looks like what Jingle's videos kind of looked like back in the day. So, KV-1S. How's it different now than how it was back then? Well, if you look at that gun and that turret, it looks an awfully lot like the IS. And in fact, this gun, although I don't remember exactly, I'm taking my best guess here. This gun looks exactly like the D25T gun on the IS, which is like the middle ground stock gun for the IS. It's also a 122. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this thing isn't exactly slow, but uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty nimble for a heavy. And there you go. That was a low roll, but it still took off half his health. Because back in the day, actually not too long ago, to be honest with you, tier 6s had a lot less health. And this did 390. So yeah, there's another half of his health gone. It's not uncommon to one-shot a lot of the tier 4s that this thing would fight. So... It also had, I think, 6 degrees of gun depression, which isn't terrible. But, uh, yeah. This tank was an all-around beast. And, as you can see... <laughs> even though I'm, like, almost brand new, like, this was, like... 3,500 days ago or so. You check it out. I, I'm not playing that terribly. I mean, I'm poking out only when I'm reloaded. Showing only as little as I need to show. So, yeah, your boy was gaming right from the start. There we go. Not sure where that one went, but... Uh, you know what I just noticed is that... There's a lot of the, like... When you shoot someone and it says crit, or it says bounce, or armor not hit, that didn't really exist, so you have to really go based off of the crew voices. Let's turn that on. It's on, right? Did, did I do it right? This ain't no quickie baby commentary, I'll tell you that. <clears throat> so, the chat is having a, a bit of a... It's already shit talking. But, um... Yeah, I just noticed... Let's bring this out. Yeah, my account name is uh, Pixpax. That's how it was before Wargaming Bandit. And I'm telling this artillery to fall back because... What the heck? Why is the artillery here? Well, I'll tell you why the art our artillery is here. World Tanks used to be a lot simpler, okay? If you had a 155 or 152, I forget what it is, millimeter gun, it'll probably do what a 155 or 152 millimeter gun damage would do. So, probably like 900 HE, maybe 700 heat. And that's how artillery was. So, yes, artillery used to have actually big scary guns with no stun. So what this guy was probably trying to do is he had heat loaded, my guess. I don't know, because as you can see back in the day, nobody really loaded gold, but... He was trying to blast someone for 700. Now, Wargaming has made sort of like a very loose patchwork, I guess you could call it where they just make big-ass guns do very little damage because, oh well, we gotta balance them out, I guess. It's kind of weird that a 150 in the current version of Watt for the M44, I think it does like 350 heat damage or 360. But anyway, there you go. That's the thing. Artillery used to be a lot scarier. And um, as you could probably tell, I just used my med kit um, and it's a one-time use, so there you go. Although, this may be a bit superstitious, and the evidence to this is completely anecdotal, but I do think Wargaming increased the crit percentage chance when they made consumables 
renewable or come off cooldown or whatever. Multi-use, I believe the word is. So, I don't remember ever getting critted as much as I do back then, as I do now. But looking at this, I took two hits. One of them killed my driver, I think. And another one killed my fuel tanks. So, maybe I'm, it's just anecdotal. But yes, the KV-1S. It's like, imagine you had a derp gun. Except it's not a derp gun. It, it has high pen, relatively decent accuracy, and a good rate of fire. And that's what this tank is. Your boy just got 8 kills. So, what I've noticed is that I seem to be stuck at like 35 or 30 FPS. Which is strange, considering the graphics on this are terrible. But, uh, yes. I'm going to show you something very interesting. Um... Tundra used to look a lot differently on this side of the map. I don't know if it's for better or for worse, because I don't actually recall ever playing on this side. Um, yeah, look at that. It's all watery. There's no really, like, a hill here. Damn, this is... This is nostalgic, bro. What is this? Look at this place. You know, I just had an idea. In my world, what nostalgia, World of Nostalgia video, it basically showed replays of all the old World of Tanks maps that were removed. What if I make a video about all the World of Tanks maps that are still in the game, but just I show the old version of them, like this? Because this honestly feels more nostalgic, right? Like, I, I guess it's because... When you think of an, a, a World of Tanks map that was removed, you remember it as being old, right? You remember, th like, you, you, the snapshot of that map in your brain is the old graphics. Whereas in the modern Tundra, I've completely forgotten this is what it used to look like. So it's much more interesting. Yeah, that's it. That's file. I'm going to make a video on it. Okay, there you go. We'll call it... Um... Anyway, there's another replay I want to show you. Um, it's before I got the KV-1S. It was with the KV-1. And no, I didn't play back when it had the KV, or it was called the KV. Maybe I did, but I certainly didn't have that tank, so. Here we are. I'm in the KV-1. As you can see, I'm checking out my tank. Uh, I think maybe I just unlocked it or something. I'm using the derp gun. And uh, look where we spawned. This is where we used to spawn on, on, on encounter. Kind of interesting. Even back then. I was shit talking, bro. This scout, this M5 Stewart was like, thank God it's not tier whatever. And I'm saying, bro, you're a scout. It doesn't matter. So if I'm new and, and like, I, actually, I was new. I don't think I've been playing for more than a couple months. But I was able to figure it out. What's your excuse, huh? Anyway, uh, there is no excuse for not using a fire extinguisher, especially in a KV-1. I don't even know why I'm not using it. Um, anybody who's played the KV-1 knows that that thing gets set on fire all the time. Um, it seems like maybe I don't have the top engine, or maybe I do, I don't know, it seems kind of slower than I remember. Anyway, using the derp gun, because, of course, why, this is like, this is literally old HE mechanics, why the hell would you not use the derp gun? There we go. Nice, I don't have to aim or anything. Um, it's showing percentages, so I think I'm going to change that. Um, how do I do that? Marker. Percentage? No. HP left at a total. Yeah, we'll do that. And as you can see with all chat, I could like troll them by saying, lol, I didn't even aim that shot. Haha. <laughs> you know, trying to invoke a response. And uh, there you go, got one kill. Um, so out of all the replays I'm going to show you today, this is the only one that I actually remember playing. And I, you know how for very old memories, you only remember like a snapshot in your brain, like a screenshot. Um, that's on this map right here. I remember my KV-1 right here. And I remember saying I got uh, seven kills, which was my highest at the time. And I think somebody was like, seven, that's it. And it's like, bro, come on, I'm brand new. So. Just got another kill, second kill, derp gun. Don't really need to aim. It's great for new players. <clears throat> and, uh... As you can see, 
This, uh, what is this? Uh, Wolverine? Yes, a Wolverine. Oh, what the heck? I guess I'll just hold alt for the rest of this replay. This Wolverine is playing with the heavies because back then, people just loaded up a tank and went and played the game. There definitely weren't as many camping positions as there are now. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm getting kind of tired of holding the alt button. So I'm going to just stop doing that and I'm going to go back into here. That's right. Very professional. So just got my third kill. You know, I have a very, very strange skill in being able to interrupt the replay right before I get a kill. But I mean, let's be honest here. These are all low tier guys, kind of almost AFK. That didn't kill him. And it definitely would have with the HE mechanics reworked because I hit his tracks. So the high explosive shell it blew up on the tracks. It didn't go all the way through. But uh, with modern HE, it acts like AP and it just will penetrate space and blow up. And uh, that's quite literally what, how it works, by the way. If you're ever wondering why your penetrating HE round does no crits, right? Like a shit barn smacks uh, a leopard, leaves him on 10 HP from full. You do zero crits. How the hell does that work? It's because HE, when it pens, acts like AP. Literally, there's no spalling. The only time there's spalling is when HE does not pen. And there you go, here's artillery. Let's take him out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the KB1 has got shotgun. You said shit. Yeah, I feel you, buddy. This was back when artillery was actually scary but yeah so if you ever doing 279e missions and you need to do crits or i guess 260 missions have crits as well you want to go for something with fast firing he rounds and do not pen purposely do not pen if you splash you'll do spalling and spalling does crits that's not anecdotal by the way that's actually how it works so you know Gameplay back in the day wasn't so spectacular, except for that Amorak, I guess. But yeah, to get six kills, it really was as simple as just drive forward and click. So yeah, <laughs> I think back then people were more invested in the game. I mean, look at the chat. Top Gun, somebody said yes, yay. Two people said GG. The game's not even over yet, so they're saying GG to me, presumably. Someone said damn walls. Ha ha. It seems as though before Wargaming nuked their PR, people actually cared about the game and the community. Like here, KV1 is, SU, did you shoot the KV1? Maybe a little. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm typing like as if I'm 12 years old. Because I am 12 years old when I played this game. People still type like this when they're in their 20s, which is kind of interesting how that works, but... Anyway, here it is. I said, can I beat my record of 7 kills? Yeah, okay, I was right. This is the snapshot right here. So, I think now somebody says, 7 is your highest? I took that guy out. There we go. Someone said, 7 kills is your record. And that little bit of criticism caused me to remember this exact position and memory and all that, but... There you go, this map. What the hell is it called again? Ruinburg. Oh, I've been playing for 10 years. Ruinburg looked a lot different. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think right here. Does anybody remember this spot? Something with the angle of these two buildings. If you took a UE-57 and drove it up here, it would just shoot you straight up to the top here. And most of the time you'd fall and die, but very rarely... You would sort of like flop your way into here and you could just shoot the cap circle. <laughs> Man, was that amazing. This is like taking climbs to a whole new level. This is like literally climbing. Like <laughs> you got yourself into this position. No way to leave, but I mean, who, who the fuck cares, dude? And then we're getting fixed all that stuff, removed all that because it's unfair or something like that. Like, who cares, man? We're having fun. All right, the AT2. This thing was fucking ridiculous. Although it was quite slow, so there's that. But basically, if you wanted a T95 with 
a smaller gun because, well, you know, you're a tier 5. But you didn't want to grind all the way to tier 9. Well, you can grind a tier 5 and you got something very similar. Now, the gun is very small and it's a little peep, 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 peep little gun. Kind of funny, but... We're going to nerf this thing a lot. They really did a number on the armor. <clears throat> so, the front used to be 200. That's right. Straight up 200 at tier 5. Now it's 150. The side used to be 100 millimeters. Now it's 75. The rear used to be 76 millimeters. Now it's like 38 or something. 30... Whenever Wargaming does like the 38.6 or whatever the decimals, mainly on Brits and Americans, it's because the actual armor thickness is in inches, and they just converted it. So, yeah, basically 30-something centimeters. So yeah, they really did nuke the hell out of the armor. I'll put a little graphic side by side. Uh, this thing firing at itself with APCR. Before, you fire gold, you still don't pen. Just straight up a monster. <laughs> Now it's like, oh my god, it's the whole thing is green. Did, really, Wargaming, did the whole thing have to be green? The whole thing? But uh, yeah, this thing is very, very slow. Can you imagine that? I'm just going to skip. Because I watched this replay already, and I kind of, I know what happened, so. It's quite funny. We'll get to around... Um, yeah, yeah, right here. There we go. So, YOLO this guy. Let's take him out. Now, check that out. He actually penetrated me from the front. I'm guessing he had gold loaded, but yeah, here we go. This guy's gonna shoot me. He's gonna pen a few. He's gonna bounce a few. Um, I'm trying to blind fire in the middle of nothing. I'm s Remember, I'm still a noob. Uh, I actually don't have the gun elevation to blind fire anyway, but he's probably at that rock next to that bush. Alright, this is too fucking slow for me. What is this, a quickie baby video? Alright. T-67, or T-49, <laughs> as it's called. Um, not really sure what he's doing. He's, like, uh, just driving around. He could have shot me through those bushes, but I, you know, everybody's new here. He took out the S-35, so it's up to me. 1v2. It's funny. The I've named the replay uh, things that have happened. And the names were from back in 2011, so they're very childish. And, um... I said that this was a 1v3. <laughs> Very generous of me to say that that's a 1v3, but uh, there we go. Took out the T49. Die! I'm having fun. This is, uh, you know, back before any drama, before any account bans, before any w bullshit wargaming added to the game. It was a simpler time. Yeah, talk shit AT2, it becomes you. So, yeah, I don't really know what that means. However, I do absolutely love the fact that you could shit talk me. <laughs> in all, <laughs> with all chat. And I said, you should have circled me. And to be fair, he probably could have. I mean, you've, you can see just how ridiculously slow this thing is. But, um, yeah, if the houses weren't in the way, <laughs> that's what I was saying. So it looks like... <laughs> The Electco was telling the T-49 the same thing. And yeah, maybe the houses were in the way, but this thing's so slow. I don't know, man. I think it's a bit of a skill issue on his part. But the reason I'm showing you this is because it's pretty funny. So I was like 12 or 13 or 14. I don't actually quite remember, to be honest. I just remember the patch, 8.11. But um, yeah, I was pretty devious back then. I have to cap. I'm too slow to time him. Okay, I had a bit of a stroke there. I think what I'm trying to say is I can't chase him or find him. But yes, I'm going to have to cap. So let's just hurry up. Get in the fucking cap already. So I do actually have enough time to cap. There we go. Get in. So sit right here. It's a good spot. I got the building as cover. So the reason I'm showing you this replay is because it's quite funny and I do something quite devious here. <laughs> Um, yeah, always thinking outside the box. So I'm capping along here. I wonder if the Artie's gonna blind fire this spot. I mean, out of all the spots you could blind fire, it's either this side of the house or the other side of the house. But there you go. Let's see what he does. Sitting around. 
So if you're wondering why I have optics, uh, or yeah, no, not optics, Binox and Camonet, it's because back then they were the only two pieces of equipment that you did not have to spend gold to remove. There we go. He just blind fired, I believe, that side of the building. Start shooting him. Maybe I got spotted there. He didn't spot me. Um. So, I believe I'm perma tracking him here. Yes, the shell is disappearing into his tracks. So I'm keeping him pinned because I want to cap out and win, and I don't want him to get a shot into me. <laughs> and he says, "Stop it!" <laughs> this is actually hilarious. Oh man, we're giving fuck you for removing all chat. <laughs> so you know we're we're laughing. <laughs> Lol. Wow. So I think eventually, what I do is I stop shooting, and yes, I'm X twenty fiving. Don't ever do that. And then I say, "Fine, kill me." Ready? <laughs> I actually pranked him into poking. I said, "Fine, fine, kill me." And then he he went and poked out. And then he got taken out. I don't know why he poked out this bush, bro. You could have just poked out on this bush, but... You know, artillery players, what can you do? Shit was great. There you go, won that game. What I lacked in skill, I made up for with creativity, I suppose you can call it. Yeah, Redshire. There's one thing that's very different about this map, and that's basically over here. I mean, look at this. There's no castle here. Kind of interesting. I don't know if this is for better or for worse. Um, yeah. Is this the old version of this map? Okay, no it's not. Redshire over here used to be a lot different. Okay, I guess I have to look for an older replay. But it used to be... I remember playing it on that. On when it was this old version. One big slope, sort of, basically, just like that. It's just like a big slope, very open. I remember driving on it on my M7. Can you believe it? The M7, that's right. Alright, so, in this game, I'm playing the ELC AMX, currently called the AMX ELC BIS, and this was like one of the most popular tanks ever, man. It was very fast, actually, I'll just tell you what's changed, because they nerfed it. Before, it used to be very fast, and the gun handling, I believe, was better, and I think the reload was better, and don't get me wrong, this thing had a terrible reload from the start, but, yeah, this thing was quite fun. Now, this replay is named something interesting. It's named, I go through a wall. This game was kind of buggy back in the day. This is uh, far from the first time this has happened, by the way. This has definitely happened before. I think on Himmelsdorf, there was a certain part of the map where if you drive down into a building, you just go right through it. So yeah, I'm very excited. I'm in a house, and I let everybody know in the all chat, and this guy's like, what the heck? This guy is in a house. <laughs> so the artillery says, what the fuck, because he probably just moved his mouse over here and saw him in a house. And um, I couldn't tell you why I took an ELC to the city, but uh, I did. Here we go, we got these people like, what the heck? Here's the KV-1S. He doesn't really know what's going on. <laughs> this Churchill got distracted and got eaten up by my team. So they're playing their own game while I'm behind them proxying them. This guy goes in for another look, I think. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's what he says. Oh, the KV-1S just noticed. You saw how that happened? I ram into a wall. And uh, there you go. Can you shoot out? Nope, I can't shoot out. But, uh, yeah. Eventually they all die, and there you go. So, yeah, I'm stuck here for the rest of the match. Let's go. So, check this map out. Kumarin. Kumarin. Kumarin? Whatever the hell it's called. It wasn't a very good map, I'll be honest with you. It's just kind of a shit camp fest, which they removed. Unlike nowadays, where they would probably just keep it, and you know, oh, it's shit camping. Well, the scorpion sells a lot, so who cares? But yes, in this replay, I get a lot of kills, and uh, so 
The M3 Lee was the first tier 4 I unlocked. It was. I remember that because I went down the American line, um, both the light tank and the medium tank line at the same time. Because, you know, when you're new, you die fast, so you want another line to grind while you're waiting. <clears throat> and I went down the American line because the T1 Cunningham was the fastest tier 1. Literally, all the other tier 1s were really slow and they were kind of boring to play. But the T1 Cunningham was pretty quick and it had that fun machine gun. So I was like, okay, I'll grind this out. This seems fun. You can imagine my disappointment when I unlocked the M3 Lee. That's right, this collector's vehicle was not always a collector's vehicle. It was part of the tech tree. So yes, I had to grind this as a new player. Yep. So, basically, uh, you know, this map is very slow and boring and whatever. I get spotted here, lose some health. I don't think I have six cents. So, yeah. Basically, in this replay, this I've probably been playing for maybe like two weeks at most, right? You know, how long does it take to get a tier four? I, like nowadays, it would take you maybe an afternoon, but you know, as a noob, I'd give myself one or two weeks. So yeah, this is me playing only like one or two weeks in, uh, pretty much as new as you can get. And uh, I mean, the aim is not terrible. There you go, got a kill. And you know what's crazy is that I don't actually remember doing this, but uh, I, I started blind shotting people. <clears throat> Look at me typing, a uh, uh, Lee getting kills? Remember, I've been only playing for like a week, dude. So like getting one kill was was crazy. Two kills was, whoa, I got just I got two kills. <laughs> and I'm in a Lee. So there you go. <clears throat> so check this out. I think this is where I do it, yeah. I understood that he's probably still there, so I started shooting. That's crazy. I can't believe I actually like blind shotted as a noob. I'm not sure, did I ever get the kill on this guy? I don't know, but I certainly kept trying over and over again, because the accuracy on this thing was not that good. So, as you can see from the map, there isn't really any way to get to the their cap circle. Let me just quickly show you. There's their cap circle, and just enormous line of bushes and trees. So, really, there's like... <laughs> look at this. This... Anybody who crosses this just dies, as you can see. Same thing on the other side, although I guess the other side has some buildings, but... Yeah. The middle wasn't anything better. First of all, um... There seems to have been some sort of... Unfortunate mishap going on over here. So... If you're wondering why none of these tanks... Are in the middle, and they're all dead over here... Well, it's because... I'm not sure if it was weight or class based. Let's just say it was based on weight. Only the heavy, heavy tanks can go through this. I guess that doesn't make any sense. Let's say it was based on class. Only heavy tanks can break these tank traps. So, I think I'm like later I'll restart the replay, but I'm just noticing this now. My guess is that they came up to this, couldn't go through it, and then they're like, shit. When they're getting shot at. This guy tried to make a bail. <laughs> he, <laughs> he tried to go somewhere. You know, so, and this guy... Uh, <laughs> why did Wargaming do that? Why why would they make it so that the middle part of the map can only be accessible by a heavy? But anyway, yes, so, as you can see, dicking around, the stug in the chat is trolling, saying, come out, come out, because, you know, he's probably dug in there, sniping. 
Just realized we're all camping here, XD. Yeah. That's that's actually interesting. Like, think about it for a second here. They're they're like, whoa, we're camping. That that was weird back then. <laughs> also, I'm asking him, did I hit you, Mardar? But um yeah. Whereas nowadays in what? It's literally expected. <laughs> okay, I got hit. There you go. That's interesting communications. I did hit him. But, uh, yeah. Like, when you play on a map that has camping locations, which is basically all of them, you just as expect there to be some losers there sitting for 15 minutes, clicking once in a while. Back then, it wasn't so common. People sort of just went in and played the game. And like that martyr just said, he's like, wow, we're, we're actually, we're camping pretty hard here. Like, that was a weird thing to them. But anyway, it seems as though the heavy tank and the artillery have moved up. So let's see, can I get a kill? There we go, nice. Three kills, not bad. Probably gonna type something in the chat. <laughs> Smiley face dead by the, uh... <laughs> I don't know why he's so excited to be dead. But, uh, anyway. So... Yes, how am I getting kills? Well, everybody's kind of new. I decided, well, okay, going over there will probably get me killed. What about these uh, bush lines and trees here? So, there you go. We're using cover and tr bushes. And to be fair, I, I did watch Jingles almost as soon as I got this game because... What basically happened was I was going down the American Tech Tree line, right? Let's say it's day one. I'm like, okay, I like this T1 Cunningham. And, you know, as a noob, everybody wants a heavy tank. So I'm like, okay, what's the first heavy tank? T29. Oh, I wonder if it's good. And I literally just Googled it, and Jingle's tank review came up. And I think that was the first World of Tanks video I ever watched. So, I'm thinking, can I get a Top Gun? Um, I guess I knew what a Top Gun was, because... Probably from a Jingle's video, to be honest. But there you go, five kills. And, you know, I'm excited, I'm hyped up. I'm like, whoa, you know, two weeks in... Playing a Lee? Am I gonna get a Top Gun? This guy coming in to snatch the kill, and I'm thinking, nah, -uh. I think I look back at him. <laughs> yes. There we go. Top Gun in a Lee. There you go. There, Top Gun in a Lee. What's interesting though is that I'm in a clan. Now, I wouldn't expect to be invited to a clan, you know, the first week I started playing Watt. But, there is no reason I'm going to play the Lee if I didn't have to. And, that was my first tier 4. So, yeah. Probably just a random invite and I joined it, because why not? But anyway, yes. I think that's all the replays I'll show for now. I think I'm going to go ahead and start cooking up that uh, other video I was just discussing at the beginning. And uh, there you go. I hope this was nostalgic or interesting to you. So yeah. Thanks for watching. And fuck off.